be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yo, man, I need some help. Because the 23 ties and the 21 ties. I'm just curious how Jim got this Range Rover for me. I'm starting to learn. I don't understand this. This well, is a long wheelbase that they say doesn't exist. Clearly it exists. This man's driving around in a black on black long wheelbase that doesn't exist, according to my friends in the dealership. They say this is Jim Jones. I'm like, yeah, they said this is a federal officer. I think his name. They said, oh, we have a riff over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um, so what's he to be the father? He said, um, we want you to tell him to stop taking these cigarettes <laughs> because he's gonna end up getting in trouble. <laughs> it's a federal charge. Yeah. He said on us. Yeah. He told us that you were his grand his grandson, and we figured we'd give you and a courteous so call. So we're not gonna do nothing this time, but please let him know. Next time won't be this easy. <laughs> um, just a man after my own heart. Rough around the edges, a real, a, a real gangster and a gentleman. I mean that wholeheartedly. Handsome man. I think that's where I get my roughness from. Rough you around the edges. Like <laughs> 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 what he said? You know how to dress, but. Dressing wasn't the thing that he cared about the most. It was his money. His money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was a real Bronx man. Kept the Yankee hat on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. by the projects, everybody in the projects knew him. Mm -hmm. Yes. I got a manager, his name is Tone. I know Tone <laughs> for 12 years now, 13 years now. Tone lived in my grandpa's projects, and one day we was talking. I'm like, you know my grandfather? He like, your grandpa, what's your grandfather's name? I'm like, Nelson. He like, not big Nell. <laughs> I'm like, Nell, the grandfather. Like, wow, so long. When he would go back and he told my grandfather that he works for me and things like that, my grandfather would go crazy. And then every time we would see Tony, like, call my grandson. Call my grandson. Hey, hey, Jumbo. Hey, Jumbo, send me some money. Send me some money. <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny man. He made everybody in that family smile. He had a great relationship with everybody. Every yeah. single one of his kids, every single one of his grandkids, and every single one of his great grandkids. Um, I got, I got uncles and aunts that are younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> And then, the guy goes to show you how big his heart was. These are his bi biological kids. These are kids that he chose to adopt him and Stephanie to take care of him and get him a better chance at life, better than the chance that he had. Then you, you got to think about these things, what type of a man he was, to take on responsibility of children that wasn't his. But that's who our family was. It was always, until this day, Mark said something. And I don't think, I think it, it was it, it, it's something from the church and the water we drinking because it's always been an open household in all our family, from the most swings yeah. to the children's mm -hmm. to my mother's house right now. Oh, Every mama. Sunday, if you're hungry, and I mean that. No, As no. I walk in the house and the strangers that I have never seen in my life, <laughs> all the time, but they are eating. <laughs> yes. But Ma, Ma, Ma's family is the same way too. <laughs> we lost a lot of our elders. Lost my precious Aunt Viola. Oh my, yes we did. Who was my heart? Oh. If everybody knows, she's one of the ladies that raised me. Lost my uncle Sonny. One of the few men that were the father figures in my life. Lost Uncle George. Never father figure in my life. Mm -hmm. I was my auntie Helda, whose granddad, I never father figure in my life. I lost my father years ago, and I didn't understand how I should feel because I didn't have the greatest relationship with my father, but I loved him every day. But watching the pain that my mother go through as she loses her father makes me feel the pain of losing my father. And I don't like to see my mother in any type of pain. 
So I want this to be a rejoiceful going away party yes, because my yeah. grandfather wasn't. He wasn't he was a He was a spirit. Yes. He was a vibe. He walked yes. in the spot. Yes. It was it was it, it was his thing. And yes. I think a lot of my grandfather has rubbed off on me in the greatest ways. You were good for the things that I was able to accomplish. Um okay. I got my cousin Dave here. Back. I want Dave to back. Back. give a quick word. Um uh, my cousin Dave is my okay. brother. Give me some kisses. We came up together. But he's one of the smartest individuals that I know in my life. Very spiritual, very down to earth, and he got a heart of gold. So I want him to kind of sum up the things that I've been trying to say about being a man, providing for family, loving for family, and make sure that you say your prayers and keep God in your life. And no man is perfect, but if you walk, in the footsteps of God, that's perfect enough. You ready, Dave? Sean, you try to keep up with you.